is this is what who now? Nalita. This is Nalita the hen. <laughs> So good afternoon, good afternoon. I'm here at the Minister of Agriculture. In particular, I'm here today with Miss Maxine Brown, Livestock Officer. You know, she do a lot of work with livestock. One of the rather officers that we really work with a lot in a lot of our small ruminants sector. So we are here today to talk about a program, a Zoom meeting that will be here talking about parasites. And this is such an interesting you know topic and we have a lot to learn so we're going to Maxine is going to now talk to us about this so good afternoon Mr. Bernard it's really good to have you here it's always a pleasure because you have so much information that we learn from you as well it's not just about myself learning from you and what I wanted to really speak about today was an interesting development that is happening in Rado so last year Mrs. Roslyn Richards Jackson, who is the coordinator for the Commonwealth of Learning program in Jamaica, was able to get some funds to develop an online training platform for farmers in the management of internal parasites for small ruminants. Which is this just internal or external? Or just no, inter just internal just parasites internal because parasites. we realize that in Jamaica, that is really one of the major areas of concern for small ruminant farmers. We have been blessed that we don't have a lot of diseases affecting animals. But this um, parasite infestation is one that is really wreaking havoc on animals in Jamaica. And we wanted to be able to inform farmers that, yes, I know a lot of farmers, when they hear about internal parasites, their first solution is chemicals. But we have realized around the world there are so many other different strategies you that see, one needs to use. The, the truth is, um, you know that one of the things I'm always promoting is that it's not about drugs all the time. That's what Ms. Brown is here saying. Everything is drugs. They are natural means of doing certain things. And this training seminar is going to highlight that. The drugs should be, Ms. Brown, our last resort. Exactly. So this training platform is designed to show farmers, to take them through the basics of what are internal parasites. How do, you, how do they function? What is their life cycle? How do we know what, at what stage to treat the animals based on the life cycle of the parasite? We will go through when do you treat them and what are the strategies and who does some of the treatment? Because as you know, we have or when we do use drugs, we have the oral medications and we have the injectables. And we have been saying to farmers, please rely on the vets to do the injectables because there are so many different things about injections that you do not know the size of the needle, where on the animal you should inject. And all of these things can really damage the animal. And really the animal is your money maker because we have seen the price of goods nowadays. So we really do not want anything to be affecting your production costs at the end of the day. So it is a really good program. It is a program where farmers will be logging in and they will go through all these different stages. They will have quiz sections, discussion sections, and at the end of the day, they will be getting a certificate of participation. And we're trying to do a sensitization session, which will be held on Monday, 28th of June, where we'll be showing the farmers this platform and how to navigate it and to let them know that this, this platform is something that they will be constantly using so that they can get information from time to time on how to best treat the animals for internal parasites. So this, this um, training seminar, it's on Monday? No, that is just the sensitization. Sensitization. To show you the platform, because a lot of farmers are used to just Zoom meetings. So what is the date? The 28th of June. So on the 28th of June, which is Monday, Monday, Monday coming. So today's date is? The 23rd. Today is the 23rd of um, June. Just wanted to make sure, 23rd of June today when we are doing this. So on the 28th of June, we'll be hosting this sensitization. And the main topic of this will be on the internal parasites. Exactly. Yes. And it will continue when? So we are hoping that two weeks after this sensitization session will actually start the training sessions. We have quite a bit of farmers who are interested. We have so far over 100 farmers. And so we are thinking that we may have to split the group in two or even three. So we have three different sections. The good thing about it too is that we have also collaborated with Langston University and we are having individuals who will 
also do presentations on the control of internal parasites. So that is something good for us too, because internationally, we will see what other persons are doing to control parasites as well. I think her name is Dr. Yoko Sukahara, mm -hmm. and she did a wonderful presentation in terms of internal parasites and the different ways in which we really need to manage the, the parasite and not rely solely on drugs. And so I really wanted that information to be shared with many more persons. So I've invited her to be a part of that training platform as well. Very, very interesting, very interesting. Because one of the things that is happening is that after a time we see it happening with especially like even the wormers. Animals are building up resistance to these wormers. They're building up resistance to the antibiotics. They're building up resistance to all these drugs and we don't want that to happen so we need to try and make drugs be our last resort yes we do need the drugs but it must be our last resort in everything that we are doing we want to try and do things the natural way miss brown i remember when we went to the country parts you know every time i go to some of these country parts they tell me well you know what we use we use this and we use that and we give it to the animal and this happens so even in the old time days of how they used to treat the animals, there is a whole heap of old time things out there. Now. And these things I think used to work because how the animals were surviving without these drugs. So some of these old time people or old time people, we have to listen to some of what they were doing, you know, so that we can know what's happening. I went to a farmer the other day and he said to me, boy, you know, I don't need to do a fecal count, you know, I just watch the droppings. And when I look on the droppings, I know exactly what stage or where my animals is because he's paying attention to his animals. So it's so important to watch your animals and pay close attention. To and them. I just want to use this particular moment too to just show persons if you can just pass one of those books on the record keeping book because if we're thinking about strategies in managing internal parasites, you need to have data on your animals. Whenever you have used, whenever an animal becomes ill or anything, the way the animals to see if they're being properly nourished to ensure that they have a they, they, the fighting chance to, to survive an animal a parasite infestation. So record keeping is extremely important, especially when you're talking about finding strategies to manage internal parasites. And I just want to say to that, as you see the Minister Honorable Floyd Green. Floyd Green. <laughs> I'm getting a senior moment. <laughs> he has it he has gone and has announced that he's trying to build the population of goats in Jamaica because we are consuming nearly only 20% of the, the meat that we produce here. The rest of the, the rest of the meat that we produce, 80% is coming from overseas and it's really sheep meat. So there's a large potential for goat production in Jamaica. So talking about enhancing the breed from the AI program, which he announced, we cannot afford to be going forward and not being able to properly manage parasites that are affecting our animals because these animals are too costly and it's too important to Jamaica for us not to take it seriously. So when you look at the parasite situation, right? We, we you know, you know that managing, you know, managing your herd, record keeping, very important. You have to look at proper housing facility, you know, the hygiene and, and, and the housing and also you also have to manage the nutrition. You know, these are the important, exactly. anything else. And once you manage those facets of what you're doing, nutrition, biosecurity, biosecurity, and, um, you know, housing facility, you know, and manage the, the, you know, the parasite situation. Because, you know, Miss Brown, in all my years of rearing goats, once goats have good facility, good nutrition, they don't get sick. And you're maintaining your sanitation. And you're maintaining that sanitation. They don't get sick. It, the truth is, I often, when I realize and when I look, good sanitation, good housing, good nutrition, animals build up a resistance to parasites. And you literally don't need to apply or do any drugs at all. This is the key to it. Good management of your facility. And then even the parasites won't be a problem. And you know something? If you have an animal that you have to be keep worming out or you know you have he's always getting sick call him exactly. and call out that entire genetics of any animals that you have keep getting sick or keep having problems that's why calling is so important in your herd 
and that is another management strategy in terms yes. of managing internal parasite and you, that is why you need your record because if yes. you're not noticing what is happening with that animal to say each time you try to work with that animal it's still infested with parasite then you know you wouldn't know which animal to call that's right and just do this blanket treatment because i hear farmers they, they will say oh sometimes you worm three times per year or four times per year or your weed you worm after two weeks after the kid is born no we're trying to get away from that that is too costly and listen to me that that she says a while ago is the reality you go around the place people are being taught worm two weeks worm every three weeks worm every three months all of that is some old time Asian day something that come from the 1970s probably in the 60s that is not practiced anymore mm -hmm. and it is still being taught I go all over the island and hear people talking what can I drink what kind of drugs I can give an animal what drugs I need to give the animal it is something that I see every day you do not drug your animals you only treat an animal if he is sick you cannot try to treat a healthy animal. You're asking for disaster. And you know what will happen, Miss Brown, as we all know? If you start worming out all the animals like that, the strong animals are going to become weak. And what you do is that you get rid of the weak parasites and leave the strong parasites. To destroy the herd. <laughs> exactly. And Don't make is, any sense. And that is how the resistance in terms of the drugs comes into place. So right. it is it is really an interesting program and I really encourage everyone to link with Rada to try and be a part of it because you'll really be getting good information that will help you to be productive and also to be at a lower cost in production for your animals and save you money and keep your animals healthy and happy. They're your money makers, so you want to do everything to make sure that they're productive. For farmers who are interested in being a part of this training program, what you have to do is contact your rather livestock officer, give them your contact information, and then they will, make, they will send it to me and we'll make the arrangements to see at what time of the year you'll be able to participate. We always try to have farmers to send their email address because you'll get your own username and password to log into the course. But if you don't, we're also making arrangements to say when well, farmers could come to the parish office and as a group, you will go through the training program. So we are flexible in terms of how we operate with farmers. But as I said, once again, just contact your livestock officer, give them your contact information and they will get it to me. Thank you. All right. So I'm thanking Miss Brown. You know, we came to look for her today and I wanted to advise everybody all across the world because it's a Zoom meeting. And we're, what is the date? It is Monday. Do you have? It is really Monday, the twenty-eighth of, of June, right? At ten o'clock. At ten o'clock. At ten o'clock. So. And we'll send the Zoom link to farmers and to whosoever is able to. Right. So the Zoom link will send out to some farmers who is on the radar list, and you know we'll be informed. But please don't miss this because internal parasites is, is a big, big, big thing with with animals. Thank you so much for continuing subscribing to my channel, and keep watching. Thank you.